Okay, so as my video regarding the CH341A BIOS programming tool has been pretty popular on YouTube. So on the video I repaired my Asus P5E3 premium motherboard which I bricked like over a year ago or so. Many people found it very helpful when trying to repair a motherboard with a corrupted BIOS. Uh, it was quite a difficult process to do and uh, I think the reason could be partly what this video is all about. So when I was messing around with the Gigabyte X79 UD7 not that long ago, I actually encountered this whole thing. So uh, uh, for some reason the uh, CH341A, although it's very popular, uh, it's very cheap BIOS programming tool and it's very easy to obtain from sites like eBay, it's not like functioning in the very best way we want it to operate. So I actually encountered a video posted by Vollog, another channel of YouTube. I will link their video in the description box of this video, so definitely check it out if you are more interested in this topic. But it seems the uh, CH341A is outputting 3.3 volts only partially. So most of the power chips we want to flash using this tool, they are mainly meant for 3.3 volt operation. So uh, it seems that half of the uh, BIOS chip pins or legs are being operated at 5 volts and that's definitely not something we want to do, right? I will use the Gigabyte X79 UD7 as an example in this case. So here are the two BIOS chips of the Gigabyte X79 UD7. These BIOS, these BIOS chips are called MXIC, MX25L, so that means uh, 25 series BIOS chip, so 25L6406E and you can find the data sheet of these BIOS chips online. The operational voltage for these BIOS chips is 2.7 volts to 3.6 volts. So that's pretty much 3.3 volts plus and minus some percentage. So uh, that's the thing about this whole thing. So we want to use 3.3 volt output voltage when we want to uh, program any of these BIOS chips with an external uh, BIOS flashing uh, utility like the CH341A. So the issue is that the uh, chip itself on this device, so the, so the so-called CH341A, it operates at 5 volts by default. It gets 5 volts from the USB and uh, uh, only 3 out of the 8 pins over here, so if we use the 25 series BIOS chip port as an example, only three of these pins will output 3.3 volts by default. So uh, the 5 volts is uh, translated to 3.3 volts by this uh, regulator over here. So uh, you, uh, you can easily find the schematic of this uh, device from Google. I will put a very simple picture uh, of the schematic on this video. So you can actually uh, double check which of the pins are at 3.3 volts and which are at 5 volts by default. So uh, if you just buy this tool from eBay or similar, you can easily double check this uh, with a multimeter before you start using it. Just insert this device to a laptop or some uh, USB power bank, measure the uh, voltage from any of these data lines over here and you can use the ground from the USB port like so and you will read. 5 volts by default, trust me. And that's not something we want, right? So uh, the thing about this device now, so uh, so these 8 pins over here for the 25 series power chip, the uh, 2 from the bottom right hand corner, they will operate at 3.3 volts by default. The top left corner pin is a ground pin, the second one from the top left corner is a 3.3 volt pin, and then all the rest, so half of the 8 power chip pins or legs, they will operate at 5 volts by default. Those are all the so-called uh, data pins. So you can easily check it using a multimeter. So uh, we can double check this now. So that's the second pin from the left on the topper on the top uh, row. So you can see it will operate at it will operate at 3.3 volts. And then the bottom two pins from uh, the bottom right corner, first one. 3.3 volts, second one 3.3 volts and then if we try to measure some data pin so that re remaining two you can see they get infinite 
resistance. So they will not operate at 3.3 uh, uh, volts. So the first one from the uh, uh, bottom left corner is a uh, MOSI data pin. So it's this one over here. And if we measure it, we will get zero resistance. So that pin will be running at 5 volts. Then it's a clock or CLK. So that's pretty much it. And then on the opposite side, it's MISO for the third pin from the left. Yeah, it's that one. And the last one is the CS pin. So it's the fourth pin from the left. So those are the five volt data line pins. So that's a problem. So what we want to do on this video is that we want to convert the voltage of those four data line pins to 3.3 volts to make sure that the device will work uh, perfectly fine and then there's no risk of potential damage on the target BAUS chip. So the method of doing this is to convert the operational voltage of the CH341A chip itself from 5 volts to 3.3 volts. It seems to be uh, like a fully doable process so it works just fine even if you convert the operational volts to 3.3 volts. Even if you don't do this modification, it's very likely that the whole method will work just fine on, on most of the Bausch chips, but it's still a possibility that you might encounter issues with some Bausch chips. So that's definitely something I would recommend you to do anyways. It's still uh, it's quite easy to do, although it requires a bit of uh, soldering skills and some soldering, uh, some soldering equipment. So uh, the uh, chip itself gets its uh, 5 volts uh, from the USB from the first pin from the right hand uh, row of these pins. So the first pin, I think it was pin 28 or so, it's the VCC pin. So, we so what we want to do is that we want to lift this particular pin over here. So I can zoom you in so that you can see. So we want to lift this pin over here. I have put some uh, electrical tape between the pin and the uh, pad where it connects to by default and I have soldered one amp uh, wire onto this pin and then it goes to the uh, center leg of this uh, uh, regulator over here that uh, regulates the voltage from 5 volts to 3.3 volts for these uh, few pins over here. So that's what you have to do and then you also you need to uh, solder another wire from this side of the regulator to the, uh, I think it's, I, I think it was pin nine, but it's the sixth pin when calculated from the bottom side of the uh, uh, left row of pins. So there are five pins under this pin, and uh, I think there are like six or seven pins uh, above it, or something like this, or eight pins. You don't need to lift this one, so you just need to solder a wire from uh, the uh, only leg of this regulator over here to this particular pin. I haven't made like absolutely perfect job with this whole thing so uh, I could accidentally uh, uh, detach those wires but it seems to be just fine. So uh, that's the only thing you have to do and then you will have 3.3 volts on all of the pins and we can quickly check it using a USB power bank. It's not obviously the most uh, suitable way to do it, but we can still try it just for the sake of this video. So I have a USB power bank over here. I will insert the tool on the uh, Android port, but for some reason it might lose power when we try this. So, and this is the very same method what you can do when you first double check the voltages. So let's put the ground header over here and then any of these data lines 3.272 so 3.3 volts roughly second data line 3.278 3.278 3.273 and that's pretty much the same thing from uh, the uh, uh, BAUS chip uh, pins or ports, whatever. So we can check these were data line pins 3.272, 3.2725, 
And these two, the bottom two, bottom right hand corner two, they were 3.3 volt anyways. Bit hard to show so my hand gets in the way, but you get the idea anyway. So 3.2799. And the same thing was over here. So this one is 3.279 thing. And these two were data line pins also. 3.277. And the third one from the left. 3.278 and it lost power, but you get the idea anyways. So uh, by doing this you will have fully safe 3.3 volt operation. So uh, definitely do this if you want to use this tool like uh, with full certainty and like safely. So uh, if you found this video helpful then please give me a thumbs up. Check out the uh, product page of this tool and uh, my uh, BAUS repair video with the P5E3 Premium and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching one of my videos once again and I will see you on the next one.